Hey guys, I'm going to be starting a little project with Prisma to see how it actually works when building something uh, bigger and how all the features come together when using it. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to be creating a React Native application with this that's going to basically be the view and it's going to connect to our Prisma server. But I really want to focus on Prisma itself and so I want to make the UI as simple as possible. So this is going to be an e-commerce e application and there's five things that I really want to focus on at least with checking out with Prisma. And the first is how authentication works. So we're going to be setting up authentication with this. There's going to be, these are my pages right here. So I want to have a register page and then you log in. And then we're going to have a product view where you just see all the different products that you can purchase. And uh, you can also from that screen create your own product to start selling. Um, and so we'll also create a form where you can edit slash create products. And then we're going to have a nice long list view. And now for these products, I want to also handle permissions. For example, you can't edit someone else's product. You can only edit your own product. And then also image uploads. So I want to be able to uh, upload an image from my React Native application to Prisma so I can see a picture of the product. And then we're going to be trying out TypeScript for the server. I'm not a big fan of TypeScript with React, so we're not going to be doing it for React Native, but I'm going to give it a try for Prisma. And the last thing I want to check out is pagination. So Prisma has pagination by default, I believe. So we're going to be using that with our list view over here. Um, we're going to be able to sort, filter the different products, and then also have it infinitely scroll through the products. And in the background, we'll be making uh, calls to Prisma. So that's what the series is going to be. I'm going to be starting it very soon. Um, and we'll get a deeper understanding of how Prisma works. And this will kind of lay the groundwork if you or uh, anyone wants to try to do a more uh, advanced Prisma project, you now know how to do all these things and have a good example for them. So that's all for this video, guys. I'll see you soon when we get started on this project.